Can you make a hidden blade useful for everyday life? I love the early Assassin's Creed games. There's something about running around Italy with hidden weapons and gadgets that I've just always found enticing. And the most iconic of these is the hidden blade. It's beautiful, it's elegant, it's dangerous, and I want to make one. But the problem is that in real life, modern life, I don't need a hidden weapon. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to make it useful for the real world. Before I show you how a hidden blade can be useful in everyday life, I gotta run you through how we got there. And at first, I just really wanted to make a 3D printed hidden blade. I got inspired by the designs I saw for compliant mechanisms in fidget toy knives. Now these are great to play with. However, they're a tad small for a hidden blade. I designed my own slightly larger version to see if it could withstand being scaled up. And the answer was 100% a no. It just doesn't work on a larger scale. And I didn't want to put too much time into an idea that I knew wouldn't work. Next, I bought some springs. And the idea was just to have a simple catch and release mechanism that would extend the blade. Here you can see my design. It's not perfect, it doesn't even retract, but it was a good attempt. And if I was just looking for something simple, I would have stopped here. Because for cosplay or display purposes, I think this would have worked really well. But then I found the holy grail of hidden blades. This hidden blade is designed by Somber Smith, and it was everything I was after. I've attempted to recreate the blade using the same principles that he used, but I just couldn't pull it off. So I've linked his video so you can go check it out yourself. Luckily, Sonder Smith sells his files. So I finally had the hidden blade I've been looking for. But I had to make some adjustments to it because there's been so many people on YouTube that have made hidden blades and I needed this to be different. So I had to adjust the 3D files, reprint it, and now I can show you my hidden blade and how it's useful for everyday life. I always find that when I've sat down with my breakfast, I've forgotten my spoon. And with this attachment, I don't need to worry about that. I can eat my cereal without worrying. Now that we've had our breakfast, we've got to try and brush our teeth. So I've got a little bit of toothpaste on my brush. Let's give it a try. It's not the most flexible, but I wonder if there's anything else we could brush. Imagine this, you've just finished on the toilet. Massive mess, nightmare. You've got guests coming over. What are you gonna do? Waste time reaching over to grab this guy? No, you want this. Quick and easy. You see, with this attachment, you can dust straight from the sofa. You don't even need to get out your chair. So you can go like this, or like this. Or even from here, without even leaving the desk. Do you ever have that one frying pan that you just can't get to get tight? That's where this one comes in. Quickly stick that in there and you're just ready to tighten up your frying pan whenever you need to. Now, would I say that these tools are actually useful? Absolutely not. No more than just grabbing the tool initially. You don't need it on your wrist. But I had fun making it and it was different. And that's what I think it was all about. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, maybe subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you would attach to your hidden blade.